Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm very excited to share that、uh, during the holiday, I bought a、uh, AMD GPU, seventy nine hundred XTX. This is one of the best AMD consumer GPU. I'm very excited to share it with you today. This is how it looks. The front side and the back side. I think、uh, it looks very nice. So the installation is straightforward. It's similar to any other discrete、uh, GPU card. However, you need to make sure that、uh, it can fit your computer case because it has a very large dimension, especially the height. It's quite、uh, large. Okay, so so here I'm showing you what、uh, it looks like after my installation. So I actually used it in two of, of my machines. So one is using the Linux. So it use uh, uh still use the AMD CPU, but the Operating system is Linux. The other one I will be focusing today is using the operating system Windows, Windows Ten. So this machine it has a CPU, which is also from AMD, AMD fifty nine fifty X, which is a sixteen core CPU. So I think、uh, it、uh, pairs well with.、Uh, This seventy nine hundred XTX. Let's see how it、uh, performs. After the installation of the GPU, I booted、uh, my Windows PC, and then the installation of the driver is quite、uh, straightforward. I went、uh, directly to the AMD site, and、uh, it has several options that I can use. So I downloaded the、uh, one of the driver and installed it. So and、uh, then my Windows operating system can recognize the GPU without issue, as you can see here. So it's、uh, in the resource monitor it shows up the GPU, and also on the GPU software it also showed up. For the actual benchmarking, I decided to give it、uh, a try on 3D Mark Time Spy, which is a classic benchmarking software. This is the result. I think、uh, I didn't do any fine tuning on yet, so this one kind of below average, but. I think、uh, if you look at、uh, the world、uh, record, you can see a seventy nine hundred XT has lots of potential. So, uh, next, I decided to use another benchmarking software, which is the Shadow of Tom Raider. So this program. It's also a very classic one, so it allows you to compare it、uh, directly with other GPU. This is the results from my initial testing. So I think、uh, the average frame per second is one seventy three. I think it's a really nice score. Lastly, I want to show you my results of compare. The seventy nine hundred XTX with several NVIDIA GPU, which I had, I used the、uh, the exact、uh, same machine. Only difference are the GPU. So I tested uh several of the Sony series NVIDIA card, Sony sixty, Sony sixty Ti, Sony eighty Ti, and Sony ninety. So. I think,、uh, as you can see clearly from here, 
7900XTX is higher than any of them. So I think that's very promising, right? I think uh, also it's uh, kind of expected because the 7900XTX is the current uh, flagship card from AMD. One thing I want to mention is that uh, although we see that uh, 7900XTX performs quite well, however, as you can see from some of the benchmarking for AI workload, such as the stable diffusion, 7900XTX is lagging behind. So I will do some testing and uh, create uh, some more videos on them. Make sure that uh, you follow my channel so you can stay updated about the, what's going on. All right, thank you very much. Goodbye.